We must have heard this gospel reading so many times and we know very well what is the story all about. But what wasn't the story? What wasn't? When we see the gospel reading, it wasn't a dance in one of the great halls, but it was a dance to please. So it was not a dance on a great hall, but it was dance with blood on the floor. So it was a dance with blood on the floor. We see, it wasn't the belief of Herod that he respected John the Baptist, but it was the beheading of John the Baptist. It wasn't his daughter who danced. It was only his stepdaughter who danced and pleased him. And therefore we see that it wasn't a deadly dance, but it only costed the life of a man who pointed finger at Herodias. And therefore Herodias was afraid of John the Baptist. Therefore, it wasn't a deadly dance, but was it a deadly fear that this man is pricking her conscience regularly. It wasn't that blood on the floor, but there was blood on the roof as well, because that was a beautiful place which was erected and built by Herod's father. This is Antipas, Herod's father, Herod, who condemned Jesus Christ. He built this for the shows like this. It wasn't Herod who was intoxicated with drink, but rather he was intoxicated with power because it is a stupid lady who comes and dance and then he gets excited and says, whatever you want, I'll give it. And when she asks for the head of John the Baptist, he is intoxicated with power. It wasn't that the birthday of John the Baptist, it wasn't the birthday of Herod on that day. It was actually must have been the birthday of John uh, Herod, but it was the death day for John the Baptist. It wasn't the birthday party that brought victorious for Herod, but rather it was a victorious part for the Herodias, for she wanted this to happen in her lifetime because she was carrying on this illicit relationship. It wasn't the respect over John's power. Never he wanted John to be dead because Herod respected him. Never did he want it. But you find Herodias who is there to overpower because it is the brother of Herod, Philip, who is the one who is at loss. So she wants her John the Baptist wants Herodias to go back to Philip, the lawful husband. It wasn't a dance ended with death, but rather it was a separation of body and head. Herod would have known as a person with so much of power, but everybody finally came to know Herod was a spineless and boneless man. He could stoop to that level. It was the burial of this great prophet when they handed over the body back to the disciples to do the final rites. It was not the consequences that he might take revenge against Herodias but rather took revenge against the part of his own respect that he had for John the Baptist. Therefore, these are the things that you and I should look at. 
because all these points which wasn't what Herod did may be also in us that we may be like Herod in our way of living respecting everyone being faithful to all the spiritual activities but at the same time carrying on illicit relationship and at the same time intoxicated with power rather than with drinks intoxicated with the illicit relationship rather than living a moral life and therefore you and I are asked to celebrate life in a meaningful way what is that meaningful way that we may stand for truth like how John the Baptist stood for the truth he didn't give up even though he was arrested and put behind bars for two years and he died one year before Jesus could be crucified when the same Herod condemned him and that is how we know that John the Baptist was the one who could live and stand up for truth you and I can always try to stand up for truth and justice